What's good YouTube is Anthony back at it with another video and in today's video we have the Jordan 2 Retro High in the Nina Chanel Abney collaboration. She's an American artist based in New York and Jordan Brand and her teamed up for this awesome Jordan 2. We have the high tops and also a green low top pair in the Jordan 2 silhouette. This is a super sweet pair and it also comes with a super sweet box. So in today's video we are going to be reviewing this sneaker going over everything you need to know about it before picking up your pair. Covers sizing, material, quality, stitching, everything, the ins and outs, materials, and everything, along with resale predictions, where to cop it, how to cop it, and everything else you need to know about the sneaker before you cop it. So make sure you check me out on Instagram at Anthony Got Souls. I post everything there for sale. Got sizes three and a half grade school all the way up until 14 men's. You can get bigger again upon like requests and everything. I get pretty much all the new releases. I can do pre orders for upcoming releases. Just DM me. And I'll post some there, guys. That is Anthony Got Souls right there. So hit me up in the DMs and I got you guys. Starting off, not with the shoe, but with the box. Having the box, I really didn't know what kind of box I would get. I picked this pair up on Nike sneakers earlier this month in a size 11.5 women's. This is a women's exclusive release, which was a 10 men's 11.5 to 10. Go 1.5 down. But look at the top of the box, guys. Look at that. Super sweet. I love when we have just like a cool box, nothing like too basic or anything. Always just nice to have a special box. So zoom in on the details and everything. Super sweet, guys. You see it, guys. Nice details and everything. That's the top. Nina Chanel Abney on the side, her name. And there's more like cool details with the red, the white, and the black. And then Air Jordan. Kind of have this like little loophole right here. And then her, her name again. And then back heel with the Jordan brand. Super sweet. Getting onto like the inside of the the sneaker kind of looks like Christmas with the nice sweet colors the green the red the white the black nice look looks like kind of like sprinkles has her name and the emblem right there and then the shoe wrapping paper has like X's basketballs and kind of just the emblem nothing too crazy in there nice tissue paper nice wrapping and uh, retail on the sneaker was two hundred fifty dollars a little bit high for a retail price. In all honesty, but I feel like 2022, we've had a ton of new Jordan 2s, which we really haven't had in a while. I know there's going to be a lot more releasing this year, and especially collaborations from Amal Manier 2s to Union 2s to the Nina Chanel Abneys. Now we have this sneaker right here. Let me know in the comments, what is your first impression? What do you guys think of this sneaker? Is it is it cool? Is it like basic? In my opinion, it's kind of like basic a little bit. There's not too much going on. And especially a Jordan 2 High, there's just, I don't know. Jordan 2 Highs are a little bit like less popular and everything. It's for certain people and everything. I personally do like Jordan 2 Lows. A little bit just more of like kind of, I just like low tops in general. And the high top is just throwing me off in general. But it's nice details. The quality is nice. You got nice like leather uppers around the heel and then right around the like here as well and to the inside and the outside. Got this nice suede toe box and this nice gray more of that nice suede in the back with the Nike and the stitching. And then a little bit underneath, you kind of have this like, I would say like crocodile, but it's like a textured like leather and stuff. Kind of looks like a reptile. Super nice overlay right there to the back and then wrapping around just above this nice red. Kind of have this nice red in the back. Kind of points off into the back and everything. Wrap down to the outside and the inside. Nice black laces on the sneaker. Nothing like too soft. It's kind of like a little bit more like of a rougher kind of like laces looking at it. Just break it in, you'll be good. More of that kind of like reptile um, leather on the toe box. And not the toe box, the um, the tag right here. So hard to like pull it back with the Air Jordan and the Jumpman right there with the basketball. And then the insoles, you have some nice red insoles with the Jordan on this one. And then her name on this other one in the back. Pretty hard to see and everything. Nice cushion around the back. And the inside of the sneaker, nice black and then white on the outside. Pretty, like, kind of a narrow sneaker looking at it and everything with Jordan 2s. I'm not too sure how Jordan 2s fit true to size. I believe that's pretty much what Nike is going for all the way around for every silhouette. Let me know in the comments, but I think it is true to size. They kind of have these nice holes around, like, the outside of the toe box. A little bit different than, like, Dunks and then Jordan 1s, where it's kind of, like, scattered and everything. But this sneaker is right around the toe box on the outside. Super sweet as well. Got these nice off-white kind of like tan vintage 
um, additional laces as well. And these laces I would actually personally rock because it matches this nice off-white vintage midsole that kind of just would kind of just like um, just bounce back and forth and really complement each other pretty well versus the black. Black kind of just throws off the sneaker a little bit for me, just kind of like points to focal point to the laces instead of the sneaker in general. So you have two options for the laces and everything. You can do what you wish and everything for that. But yeah, I do really like the back heel tab. Lots of materials, and I feel like the overall quality and build for the sneaker is there. It's going to be long-lasting, super um, cushiony and durable. And um, yeah, that's the midsole and a nice like vintage off-white. Outer soles, a lot going on with the white. The um, vintage kind of like off-white, some red, and Nike right there. No stars really for the sneaker versus some other Jordans. But you know, this is, I really haven't had a Jordan. Actually, I do, guys. This is, um, wait one sec. Jordan 2, I have the Jordan 2 Union, and this is also the high top in a size 9. For a little bit of a comparison, we have the blue colorway. I feel like this Union, I don't know, maybe it's just a collaboration in materials for me, but the color is a little bit nicer, and I feel like the overall build is a little bit different. Maybe, I don't know, they're both high tops exactly. But this one just feels kind of like taller and stuff versus this is the Union and stuff. So both collaborations, again, super, just kind of like, it's an, I don't know. It's just a lot going on. Jordan 2s, we've had a lot releasing in 2022. But um, you can pick this sneaker up on like your local like marketplace, your marketplaces like Instagram, OfferUp, or you can resort to StockX and go if you cannot find it. I feel like this sneaker wasn't really like too popular also like not really like mass produced i knew a few people that did hit on nike sneakers like myself i feel like that that was probably like the easiest way to get um the sneaker for retail and everything but um also when i'm looking at it your size tag is in this inner deep cushion right here on the outside right here with all your information there super nice this shoe is going to take a minute to break it in and everything but that's just pretty much standard for all your shoes so I try to pick this pair up right around that, like that 260 to 300 price prices with the resale um, being like right around there around like the retail and everything it's not too bad of a pickup but again kind of like a high price retail for the sneakers 250 i don't know just me personally it's a little bit much for um this jordan 2 and um you can definitely pick it up right around that price again and i would wait a little bit just because market is a little bit high right now i feel like more people once they get in their online orders prices will dip and then you can buy your personal pair so let me know in the comments is this a cop or a drop and i appreciate you all so much for watching this video Got lots of heat coming up later today and tomorrow and so forth and so on. Make sure you check me out on Instagram at anything at souls. I got you there with all the heat as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more heat. Peace.